Hey YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to downgrade from any firmware to any firmware, meaning you can downgrade from 4.2.1 to 4.0, 1.3 or anything you want as long as you have the SHSH blob saved. Um, and if you're not sure if you do have SHSH blob saved, all you have to do is go to Cydia and wait till it loads and at the top it will say that you have a couple SHSH blobs saved, meaning these number is written green. So SHSH, and I have all these firmware saved, meaning I can downgrade from any firmware to any firmware, meaning from 4.3 to 3.1.3, as long as I have Tiny Umbrella and I have the firmware, that I'm going to downgrade to. Alright. So. And if you have to be jailbroken to do this. And you don't need to be jailbroken. But you need to be previously jailbroken. If you're not jailbroken right now. To have the SHSH blob saved. So right now I'm going to demonstrate this. With firmware 4.2.1. And I'm downgrading it to 4.1. And I'm on 4.2.1 right now. I'm going to downgrade this to 4.1. So to get this started, uh, you need to go to the description below and go to the two links that I provided you in the description. One is the firmware downloader and one is Tiny Umbrella, which I'll show you guys what these do. So one is uh, felixbruns.de which you can download any firmware you want. So right now I need a firmware iPhone 3GS 4.1. And I'm going to download this. And I'm not downloading cuz I already have it and you need to go into the firmware where umbrella.blogspot.com and download tiny umbrella. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download this. And you're going to save it to your desktop also. Now once you download all the files that you need, which are the IPSW and the Tiny Umbrella that we're going to use later on in this video. And here is the IPSW that we're going to downgrade to. So I'm going to downgrade to 4.1 and right now I'm on 4.2.1 as I showed you earlier. So to do this, what you want to do is locate to start, then computer, and then go to the C drive, then go to Windows, then go to System 32, go to Drivers, then go to ETC and you don't go anywhere from here and quickly I will just show you where you have to go alright um, that will be in the link description also so what you need is to, you need to click on hosts and open up with notepad and that is very important so here you see in notepad a uh, bunch of numbers what you want to do is look at the bottom here right here and what you want to do is you won't have these three there if you've never downgraded before or saved any SHSH blobs and what you want to do is you won't have just so just pretend that I don't have any of these right now what you want to do is you want to go to the description below and copy this code. This code. You can copy this code which will be in the description below and paste it right here on the way bottom, right where this is located. And make sure and um, don't worry if you don't have these. It's normal if you don't. I've already test 
tested the downgrade, so I should have this. After you're done, what you want to do is you want to save it and just put it back where it was in ETC. And after you're done with this, you're all good to go. Uh, make sure you have an iPhone and you have a USB cable such as these to downgrade. So what you want to do is you want to open up iTunes and connect your device to the computer. No DFU mode or anything because you're not uh, restoring to a custom firmware. I'll just ignore this. You want to go to JJ's iPhone or wherever your iPhone is and you want to go and do shift restore and select on the IPSW that you're restoring to which mine is 4.1 I'll prove you guys that I am on 4.2.1 once again I'm on 4.2.1 I'm downgrading to 4.1 not sure you can see you guys here you go 4.1 so iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. Restore. <coughs> so I'll quickly show you guys how it looks like from my device. So it says right now it's extracting the software. I'm not sure you guys can see that. Verifying it, preparing iPhone for restore. Turned off. And the app logo. Now it's in the recovery mode. And you guys see all these computer noises, which um, I like to hear when I'm doing all these jail jailbreaks and downgrading stuff to remind me that my iPhone or iPod is working properly so now you guys see the bar right here um, I'll come back to you guys when it finishes doing this bar and uh, if you do get a error like a 1003 or 1005 errors um, that's going to come in handy later using tiny umbrella so I'll come back to you guys when my finishes the bar. Okay, so while I was restoring, I got an error uh, when I almost finished toward the end. And it says the iPhone, JJ's iPhone, could not be restored, and an unknown error occurred. And the error is 1015. And I'm on recovery mode. Alright? This is a good sign. Now just click OK. X, X out of iTunes. And. Alright, so here's still my iPhone. Connect to iTunes. What you want to do is you want to open up Tiny Umbrella. My phone's still here. Allow. Uh, unblock. Alright, so here it is. My, the tiny umbrella. Now it says recovery devices up here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Recovery devices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. And then on the right hand corner it says exit recovery. And just watch my device when I click it. Now it's getting me out of recovery mode. And this should finish the restoring.
And if iTunes uh, pops up, X um, iTunes out. And I get the bar. Alright guys, I'm sorry I don't have a SIM card installed, so I'll put a SIM card in and come back to you guys later. Okay, so I'm back with a SIM card. So, and put my SIM card. And here's my iPhone. And now, what you want to do is you want to open up iTunes. iPhone. And there you go. And quickly show you, I am on. Now I'm on 4.1. Downgraded successful. Alright. If you have problems with this downgrade, please leave comments below or send me a PM. I'll try to help you out uh, best as possible. So if this video helps you guys, please subscribe, like, and rate, and comment.